I think this upcoming Maps vs. Optic is important in more ways than one. My old team versus my new organization. But I think the biggest thing in my mind on why I want to beat Optic personally on day one is I truly believe that validates what we're doing here at 100 Thieves. You know, they've been around for, what, 10 years? In two months, we put together a team that can play with the best. 100 Thieves is here forever, and we're gonna do everything we can to raise the bar. That's why I wanna beat Optic. Next matchup as Counter Logic Gaming takes to the stage opposite 100 Thieves. Uh, I don't really care too much other than uh, being able to win and uh, the process and getting it. Even if it takes me, you know, cutting off my arm, let's go. And now CLG have to go up against the man that had the voice that led them before. Well, yeah, I'm usually, I don't really care too much about flashy play styles or, you know, being the spotlight type of dude. But, you know, if I have to get down in the mud, bro, I'm, I'm down in the mud, baby. So when we finally got the whole room set up, I was like, damn, now I got to actually do my job and do my work well. That was pretty much my next thought. Due to visa issues and just the holidays, we decided to cut our losses and we'll bring them here on January 4th. But the problem with that is they only have 16 days to get ready for their first match for Optic Gaming. Is that, was that after? Yeah, so first match versus Optic, and then I didn't realize it was second match versus CLG. Yeah, yeah. Damn, you bro, you got the look and everything. Yeah. You got the, the I, I like fresh, it, man. That's a you fit with 100 Thieves. Wow, that's Great a shoe rare. Who else is here? Okay, so we made it to the airport. So we believe that Ryu and someday have landed. So the biggest thing is gonna try to harvest some team synergy as fast as possible. And this is definitely something that you can't create unorganically. I'm really curious how like the first few days are gonna go, how everyone's gonna like click together, because these are five brand new players all come from different teams, and getting them all on the same page is gonna be my number one concern. Those 16 days for us as an organization were probably like the quickest two weeks of my life, just because it's probably the busiest that we've ever been, busiest I've ever been personally. And so to have such excitement in the house with the players practicing and being around them all day, I think for us, everything sort of flew by. I mean, for them, if you ask me that question, they might say it felt a lot different because they're behind their computers for 10 hours a day in these really grueling scrim sessions where they're playing the best teams in the world. They're trying to figure out if they mesh well as teammates. But I think in any management role for esports or traditional sports, it's always concern if the players are going to get along well. So far, so good. I mean, the players seem to like each other a lot. Uh, just as long as everybody is committed to helping each other get better and helping the team get better, that's the most important part. And I feel like we have a great mixture of that so far. So you do your best, put the right team together, and hopefully everything works itself out. Guys, hold the door. What the? After today, maybe one Bitcoin. Wow. Check that, man. Yeah. So I appreciate it, man. Really? That's true, teammates, right there. Manners. Let's not go with that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, some daddy. Yeah, there you go, some daddy. You found out your MVP. <laughs> Why would you say that? Looks like you're on a roller coaster. <laughs> Connection with the 100 Thieves brand. I mean, our jerseys are dope. I'm gonna like wearing that on stage, baby. I do think it's a type of facet that you build up. And for me, I think it builds up from the people. So I'm already, you know, getting closer to all of my teammates, all the staff here. In due time, I will definitely feel at home being in black and red.
I think this upcoming Math vs. Optic is important in more ways than one. We have put in so much work in the last two months and we have had so many stressful nights in the last year and we have done so many things right to try and get ready for this first match. I think us beating Optic would validate all the hard work that we put in behind the scenes that you probably haven't seen, but also validates 100 Thieves as an organization. I was so nervous, I couldn't sleep at all. I think from the time that I was awake at 8 a.m. until match, I was just pure adrenaline. I mean, I was screening my car, I was so excited, like, the day was finally here. Good luck today, man. I'm excited to see you play. Whoa, shit. I was going for it, dude. I do dope shit. Go hit some dingers. Yeah, let's hit some dingers. What does that mean? Teach me how to zerg rush, or zergling rush. Yeah. I used to, uh, four gate. Okay. I wasn't very good. On. Yeah, very can cheesy. Can rush in, four gate. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't very good. I used to play the, uh, the Dragon Ball Z on StarCraft, the mini game. I think it's one thing to talk about 100 Thieves and say, okay, we're in the LCS now, we're a part of this forever. It's another thing to see your players in front of the house about to head to their first match and all of them have the 100 Thieves gear on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> To just think back to me sitting on my couch at the first apartment I ever moved into and just kicking around names and, and, and just ultimately landing on 100 Thieves. I, I remember I texted Jenna, I was like, hey, what do you, what do you think about this name? She's like, what's this? I'm, like, I'm not sure yet. I don't know what I want it to be. To see everything fast forward almost two years to have five players who have had such long and incredible histories in, in esports, to have them representing 100T. To me, that was a moment that I just, I couldn't even shape it into words for you. I, I couldn't even convey to you how that made me feel. And so to be able to go back and watch it on camera just is even more gratifying. And that was a very proud moment for me and hopefully for everybody else that's part of this organization. Oh my God, we have our own little locker room. No way. <laughs> this is awesome. Look at this. Are you Sorry. They got their own little room. Look at this. Okay, let's go guys. Go, go, go. Like 10 years from now, you pull them out of the closet and everyone's These are alone. probably like the better ones out of all of them. The Hell. blue tints, yeah, because you can wear your, your pants and not be afraid, uh, afraid of the tents hitting it, you know? Is that the loser, the loser buys dinner. Steaks. Steaks. What? Expensive steaks. I'm getting chicken. I, I don't feel my whole team. I'll hold it for you, dude. I got you. I got this. Just put it in with the coffee. Oh, All right. All right. So, oh, it's real warm. Ooh. I want to make sure. Chilling your coffee. Guys, this is serious. Yeah. All right. Don't want to like hype this day up, make it super important or anything. But honestly, our whole lives has led up to this moment, so don't fuck it up. All right, let's go out there, guys. Hunted. Hunted. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do. Let's what? do three, who's, who's two, one, it? and then we all say hunted. Who's calling it though? Okay. Okay. okay, so we'll do very hunted. Loudly, wait, okay. are we doing very loudly? One, we'll do one, two, three, <laughs> then hunted. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Hunted yeah. on three. One, two, three, hunted! hunted. When I saw our drop down of Aphromu facing off against Optic with the side by sides, I lost my mind. And then when you see the front panels of the stage with 100T on them, I mean, it just it doesn't feel real. It's something completely different that I, I, I just can't, I gotta pinch myself. I, I can't believe that 
This is, this exists. Welcome back to the North American LCS. We are ready to bring you two of our newest teams that join the NALCS, 100 Thieves, and yes, Twitch chat, Optic is playing now. <laughs> Obviously, I want to beat Optic because I really think, you know, they've been around for, what, 10 years? For us to come in on day one and say, like, listen, in two months, we put together an organization that was ready for the LCS, the biggest esports league in the entire world. And us beating Optic would be a culmination and a validation of all the hard work that our players, our staff, everybody has put into 100 Thieves. And that's why it's so important to me. But I wanted to prove to everybody else that 100 Thieves is here forever. And we're going to do everything we can to raise the bar on what it means to be a team, and that's why I want to beat Optic. Shen is showing up as well. This could be the first death. He's got no way out, and Meteos gets the first blood on his first team. Sunday getting low and low and low. The double knock up in from Sig. He's going to get shot down. Nice kill picked up, but a trade at the top side. It's going to be a great fight. So going in for this one now, it's going to be Sig rooted up and stunned and low. The play is now back to the back side. They shot down Sunday. two of our players to Optic, and they had their entire team rushing down mid. From what I know, as the game goes on, when you die, the respawn times get longer and longer and longer. So if our entire team would have been taken out, we wouldn't have had enough time to spawn up. And so we would have just lost right there and then. He took our, our the remaining three players, including himself, brought us all the way back to our base and saved the game. And Optic don't know where to go, so this is going to be overdrive before one hundred teams. Baron comes up right after, but they couldn't get anything right over. Dragon damage out, but their easy spike comes through. What a great call by 100 Thieves, and not a lot of places to go. One kill picked up by D4, 100 Thieves. Looking to chop them all down, looking to knock down another turret. Looking now for the Nexus, BOE in the backside, but he can't get the damage. Nexus to fall, the damage won't matter. 100 Thieves, 1-0 in the North American LCS. Let's go, baby! Oh, my God, that was a lot of You've been through this so many more times. It really took me a second to digest it all and what was happening. You know, my first reaction to beating Optic was I wanted to jump. I wanted to scream. I wanted to be excited. But the first thing I actually wanted to do and what I did was I turned around, I, I gave Hex a hug, I gave Optic J a hug. I really just wanted to thank Hector for everything he has done for me and really congratulate them on a, on a match, well played. But at the end of the day, Hex is like my big brother. You know, he's always gonna be family. He was somebody that taught me how to be a better man. He was somebody who taught me how to be a better person. Hex is the type of person that you really just want to be around. Uh, and that's why I think Optic has been so successful. That's why I stayed on Optic for so long. And I'm so grateful and happy to have him in my life and to be competing against him and sitting next to him at the LCS. It was just something that I could have never imagined in a million years. Uh, but then after that, it was all celebration. The next match, I think was more important. I really think it was more important. It's Aframu versus CLG. Aframu was a part of Counter Logic Gaming for five years. That is a lifetime. And to be with the same organization for as long as he had been, to spend his entire adult years on this team, for him to be a part of a new organization now, I just wanted him to be successful because I think for what it did for me with Optic and validating what 100 Thieves is doing, I think it would have been great for just his personal well-being to know, okay, I made the right decision, but now is our team good enough to play at the level that I was playing at on CLG? So I think that was important for him, but he didn't show it. So he, he told me before the match, he's like, look, I'm excited to play against my old friends, but it's just another match to me. And I respect the hell out of that.
boys to men. Oh, yeah. Yo, so yesterday we shook the jitters. Today, handle our business. Stay together. Let's do 100 on three. One, two, three. 100. 100. 100. 100. When people hear the name Afro, what do I hope that they think? I um, mean, most people just remember the support is so easy video. That's all right. Who I am usually, I don't really care too much about flashy play styles or you know being the spotlight type of dude. I prefer uh, being able to have my teammates be in the spotlight and you know help them be the best they can be. But I do do my best to make sure that we make everyone be on the same page, and that's the type of thing I do like to do within my teams and making sure everyone can uh, raise their ceiling that much higher. Don't get me wrong, I can get down if I want to get down, but. Uh, in terms of competitiveness in League of Legends, when you're trying to you know, go for the top, it's all about discipline, consistency. Make sure you don't overreach. Uh, I've learned that throughout my time playing competitive league. But you know, if I have to get down in the mud, bro, I'm, I'm down in the mud, baby. Zach didn't really convey before the match that it was a big deal to him, but it was a big deal for me to see him be successful. It was much bigger than Optic vs. 100 Thieves because this was our player now. He took a risk with us. And I just wanted to see him win. I wanted to see him be happy. I wanted to see our players rewarded through their hard work. If we get into 131 situations, how many call it as loud as you can? Same thing for like mid control and the pressure. Make sure you call that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep flash. Flash gonna be used. Jenna, Jenna. Stick say still may be in nice, some trouble. Actually, it's gonna be right. bio bomb. Yeah, yeah, flag yeah. and drag. Uh, you want it? Uh, I'm down. Best score, score. You yep. just want gold in your pockets. We oh, should have gold. Oh, yeah. What are you saying, guys? Holy shit. Oh, go top, go. <laughs> I have a decent spot to go We have a flank right here if we want to go. We can look. Right back up. Can't look walking up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yo, 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 Careful, uh, Zilti, be randomly. Ryu, can you one shot? I think if we blow Zillion and Ulti, it's good. Yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna push this up and then. I'm gonna push up Zillion. Zillion is fine, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, look up, look, 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 look. I'm watching, watching. Oh, yeah, this guy, this guy! Flash ulti, but Flash ulti, you've gotta kill him before he's able to find the ulti, and they do the slam dunk! But it's someday who finds the kill for himself now without that enemy mid laner around for 50 seconds. This is where 100 thieves can take their game. Mega Nor! stays out of there! Let's see what they can find here. Turret number one gonna be the target. The defense comes down, but it will not stand. Right over now. We got it. We got it. 100 thieves on the remaining structures. Before their mid laner comes alive, Darshan alone will not guys. hold this. <laughs> and 100 <laughs> thieves find their win. They take the Nexus, they take the loot, and they take down CLG. Afro Moo in the bottom lane, helping orchestrate those plays with Meteos to reverse the pressure of that lane in the draft. Anytime you go up against where you came from, you know, it's always going to be a little bit bittersweet when you take them down, but at the same time, it does give you a little validation that you made the right choice. So, Hey, that was a great interview, too. It was good? Yeah. It was good? Good stuff, dude. My hands were shaking before that game. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, you were! Hey, can I My hands you? never shake. The whole team from CLG, like, really genuinely and fondly like watched your interview too. Mm -hmm. you, you could tell how much respect you've got from those guys. Mm -hmm. I was a little nervous going into this match since it was my old teammates and stuff like that, but uh, I was pretty excited with um, our new roster and 100 Thieves that we were able to beat them. Awesome team win. Really, we got contributions from everybody. This shit feels great and we gotta enjoy it while it lasts. You know, we, this is week one in the books forever. We're never gonna get this year back, so we gotta see how much we can push this. But for now, let's enjoy. Nice shot. Nice shot, boys. In terms of the season on 100 Thieves, I think the uh, most important step for me right now is to uh, get 100 Thieves on the map. A good season is winning the split for me, nothing less. Uh, I don't really care too much other than uh, being able to win and uh, the process in getting there. So. 
even if it takes me, you know, cutting off my arm, let's go. Feels like there's still a little bit of room to grow here for 100 Thieves, but I, I think a lot of people are looking forward to seeing how much more they can improve. Really, I heard six different teams, various members of their organization say, with confidence, we're going to win this game. Yeah. Six, that's 60% of the league so far that has aspirations for winning. 100 Thieves is one of those. You guys teams. came in, two weeks practice, and you guys gave us the best possible result I could have ever imagined. Two matches for us, it feels like I just lived a lifetime in the LCS. So thank you guys so much. Cheers, 100 Thieves. Cheers to you guys. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's have a good dinner. What I'm most excited about is sharing the stories of all of our players. And I think they're really compelling stories. And those are the things that we want to share with you on camera so that you guys can really connect with us. And that's what I'm excited to share with you guys. Medios returning from the streaming life. And back onto the rift and into it. We'll see if he's still got the moves. I hope they see me as a good player. When I first came in, people considered me like the best North American player of all time. When I wasn't doing well, people were saying I'm the worst player of all time. It's hard to say, you know, what I want my like lasting legacy to be. I try my best to be a good jungler, and I try to be a good teammate too, so that's kind of what I focus on. Well, you guys had an extremely successful first week, 2-0 in the first week of the NLCS. For those people who are not fully sold on 100 Thieves yet and their strength, what would you have to say to them? 